KPM. I'm so hungry. No wonder I haven't eaten anything the whole day. I need food. Hmm, what should I do? Uh, teacher, hi. Hi, Pika. What's with the expression? I'm so hungry, Pika. I haven't mm. eaten anything the whole day. You're hungry? Yes, I am. Okay, wait a bit. I have just the thing for you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <gasps> Ta-da! Wow, that's yes. a lot of food. Yes, I just got all of this from the pantry. Um, perhaps you'd like to choose any uh, anything you like. But Pika, mm -mm. I'm wondering, which one is a healthy choice? Oh, well, I don't think I can advise you because I wonder too. Hmm. Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera everyone. You're watching Didik TV KPM with me, Shafika Farahin and we are going to be learning for slot tahap 2. And guess what our subject is? It's English time and today we are focusing for year 6 pupils. Now, have you noticed our teacher just now? Yes, I have. Who is here? None other than teacher Anjana Prem Kumar Jude from SK Pucuk Utama 2 Pucuk Selangor. Hi teacher, salam sejahtera. Hi, Pika. How are you? I am great and I am looking uh, at a, a very interesting teacher at a very interesting colour coding today. Wow, we're looking so bright. But Thank before you, we begin with our lesson, teacher, I would like to introduce as well our sign language interpreter who is uh, teacher Lee Seng Kiat from SK Pendidikan Khas Jalan Pil Kuala Lumpur. Hi, teacher Cathy. How are you? Okay, great. Great to have you here as well. Now, before we begin, teacher, let's have our pupils who will be joining us today. Hello, everyone. Hmm? Wow, they're looking great. And I heard they're from uh, two schools today, right? Yes, Pika. So mm. we have two beautiful girls. Wow. We have Lara and Jemima from SK Puchung Utama 2. Hello, pupils. Hi. Uh -huh. And we have two handsome boys there, Aiden and Alex. They are from SJKC St. James. All the way hailing from Sabah. Hello, guys. Okay, great to have them here. Now, teacher, just now we were talking about the options, right? We have healthy and unhealthy food. But what has that got to do with our lesson today? Let's Look at the topic of our lesson today. Mm -mm. It is, what's your opinion? Mm. What is opinion? Opinion is something that you think, believe or feel. Mm -hmm. When you're giving your opinions, some may agree and some may disagree. Mm -hmm. We use expressions of agreement and disagreement. Mm. For example, mm -mm. when you agree with something, you use expressions, expressions like, that's true. I totally agree with you. Oh. But when you disagree with something, you use expressions like no way. Mm. That's not true. I totally disagree with you. Mm -hmm. So Pika, yes, let's teacher? talk to our pupils now. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering, have you all taken your meal? Oh. Yes, Lara. Have you taken your meal, Lara? No, I haven't. You haven't taken I'm your thinking, meal? I, I'm thinking of taking it. Is it a good joy? Oh, she's asking us. She's going to take her meal later. Is that a good choice? Hmm. I did hear she's saying she's going to take instant noodles. <gasps> Is that right, Lara? Yes. She's wow. take, thinking about eating instant noodles. Right. What do you think? The other pupils there. Mm-hmm. What about Jemima? Jemima, yes. what do you think about Lara's choice of eating instant noodles for her meals? 
No way. In Canada. I are unhealthy. Oh. In she, she said, she no, said no way. way. Instant noodles are unhealthy. Mm. What do you think of it, Aiden? Aiden, yes, Aiden. I disagree with Jemima because it is easy to cook instant noodles. Oh. I disagree with Jemima because mm -hmm. it's easy to cook noodles. That's a very strong disagreement. And mm -mm. what do you think about it, Alex? Okay, Alex. I think Alex... Yes, you need to turn on your mic, please. Yes, Alex? But it doesn't contain any nutrients. I strongly think that it should... That it's not the right choice, Laura. Hmm. So, Alex thinks that it is not a right choice mm -mm. because it, it doesn't contain any nutrients. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think? Well, I kind of agree. I agree with uh, some of the pupils saying that it's not a healthy choice, although it is instant. Mm. No way. It's easy to cook instant noodles. Mm. Well, I think we'll have to settle with agree and disagree, right, teacher? Yes. <laughs> and uh, you can see that the pupils are expressing their opinions. Mm -hmm. Isn't that great? That's great, teacher. And they are using their expressions mm -hmm. of disagreement and agreement. Right. Do we have examples of those expressions? Yes, we do. Mm -mm. For example, when you are saying, uh, when you agree with something, you say, I agree with you. Mm -hmm. And when you disagree with something, you say, I disagree with you. No way. No way is my personal favourite. It shows you totally disagree. Right. I believe we have more to learn after this. Pupils online, stay tuned. We'll be right back here on Did It TV KPM. TV KPM Well, hi there, pupils. Now, welcome back to Didi TV KPM for our slot Tahap Dua today. And we are learning English. Now, as you can see, have you made your opinions about how, uh, which food you're going to choose and whether it's unhealthy or healthy? Mm, that's what we're going to find out more because we are going to discuss about what's your opinion for this segment. And teacher, what's the material that we are going to refer to for this? For this session, we're going to look at blog forum. Mm. So in this blog forum, there will be four pupils sharing about their opinions. Mm -hmm. If they agree or disagree, if fast food is a good choice. Yummy! Those look delicious! <laughs> let's, right. let's look at the blog forum now. Okay. As you can see here, there are four pupils uh, expressing their opinions. We have Zarif, mm -hmm. we have Gurdi, we have Cindy and we have Prem. Mm -hmm. All of them are ex expressing their opinions by showing their disagreement and agreement with the topic, is fast food a good choice? Mm. Are you all ready to read their opinion? I am. Are you girls and boys ready? If you <laughs> are, give me a double thumbs yes. up. Where are your thumbs up? Ah, okay, that's great. Now everyone's ready, teacher. Okay, let's read the, the opinions. Mm -hmm. Let's get started. Who is going to read first? Hmm. Let's see what Zarif has to say. Alright, we have a few. Maybe... Aiden. Yes, mm -hmm. Aiden. Could you read for me? Yes, teacher. Fast food is the food that we get from an eatery which is prepared and delivered in the quickest way. For a busy pupil like me, who has a lot of tuition and extra classes, I strongly agree that it is the best choice for a quick snack whenever I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. I think there's one more... Yes, there's one more sentence, sentence there. Can I finish it for you? 
Ah, okay. So the last sentence is, I get to eat any time of, of the, the day. day. Excellent. Mm -mm. So Zarif feels that fast food is the best choice for him because he is a busy student. Right. He strongly agrees that fast food is a good choice. Mm -mm. Now, let's see what Guldeep has to say. Okay. Who's going to read Guldeep's opinion? Raise your hand up. Who is going to do it? Who's going to do it? Any volunteers to read Good Dips? Come on, peoples. Who wants to try? Ah, there you go. So we have Jemima there. Mm -hmm. Jemima, could you read for me? I'm afraid I disagree that fast food is the best choice. Many unhealthy food are burgers, fried, oily fried food, and many more. These food are high in sugar, salt, and fat. Fast food can make you suffer from obesity and diabetes. It spoils your diet. Thank you, Jemima. I think she has read it very well. Yes, she did. Would you want to give her a reward? Oh, we are? Which one are we giving her? We have a I few think, here. I think she deserves the Bravo reward. <gasps> Bravo, Jemima. And I love that she has good points as well. They're very strong. It spoils your diet. Mm -mm. Okay, let's see what Cindy has to say now. So, who's right. going to read Cindy's opinion? Uh huh. Who's next? Okay. Uh, can we have... Yes, Alex. That's true that fast food is a good choice because you can choose to purchase salad which is healthy. Salad has vegetables, nuts, and sometimes fruits. Even grilled chicken sandwich, veggie pizza, and tacos are a healthy option. Thank you, Alex. Mm -hmm. So, Alex says... Alex read Cindy's opinion that... Right. Salad, salad which is in front of you, yes. is a healthy option. Mm -mm. So he believes that salad is healthy because it only has vegetables, uh -huh. nuts and fruits to fulfill his hunger. Right. So how is the reading just now by Alex? Would you want to give something for him? Well done, perhaps? Well done. And teacher, we also have Aiden just now reading uh, for... Who was that? Zarif, right? Yes. Mm. Both deserve the well done reward. Well done, peoples. All right. Who's next? And the next one would be Prem. Let's see what Prem has to say. So who's going to read Prem's opinion? Mm-hmm. Yes, Lara. No way. Eating fast food is not okay. We tend to quickly buy fast food for a quick bite. I think the media should only show more delicious food products that are healthier. I'm sure we could always cook a meal at home. When we cook a meal at home, we will have more quality time with family or even with good friends. Wow, I love her intonation. Exactly. Mm -mm. So shall we give her a bravo reward? Bravo, Lara. She has very strong opinions and how she reads it, she was in character. Whoa, I'm and the one rewarding. You should be saying that, right? <laughs> Sorry, teacher. Exactly. It's okay. Mm -hmm. She deserves the Bravo reward. Okay. And Prince believes that it is not okay to eat fast food because mm -hmm. it minimizes it minimizes his time with mm -hmm. his family. Right. Okay. Now, let's look at those expression. Mm -hmm. When you're expressing agreement, you use "I agree with you fully." I couldn't agree with you more. That's so true. That's for sure. And when you're expressing disagreement, you say, I don't think so. No way. I'm afraid I disagree. I totally disagree. Mm, wow. Okay. Now, mm -mm. since we have read the blog forum, mm -mm. let's do a very short task. Who said this? Okay, let's look at the first one. Who's going to do the first one? Okay, who's going to volunteer first? For Cindy? Ah, Aiden. Aiden. So, Aiden, who said this one, this statement? We can't hear you, Aiden. Yes, I, we need you to turn on your mic, please, Aiden. It's Cindy who said this. It is Cindy who said this. Let's check. Excellent! Wow. Cindy has said that. 
Okay, so which one of the three, teacher? Bravo! Bravo, Aiden! Alright, who's next? Who's next? Next! Mm -hmm. Can we have who's going next? Yes, Lara! Lara, it who said Zarif this? Who said it? Who said it? It was Zarif who said Zarif. it. It was Zarif who said this. Let's check. Uh -huh. Excellent. Wow. Okay. All right. All right. I remember Zarif was the busy one. Yes. Mm -mm. Okay. And the third one. Who's going next? Any volunteer? All right. Okay. Yes, Jemima. Who said that no way eating fast food is not okay? I think Prince said that. Who said that? Prince. Prince wow. said that. So, yes, Prince said that. No way. Mm -hmm. And the last statement. I'm afraid I disagree that fast food is the best choice. Who said that? Uh, perhaps can we have Alex? Yes, Alex. It is Gurdip, teacher. It is Gurdip who said that. So let's check if it's Gurdip. Wow, Excellent. Correct. All of them have given the right answer. Mm -hmm. So shall we give them the well done reward? We should. I definitely agree. <laughs> now, teacher, thank you for sharing with us how to say you disagree and agree uh, when uh, referring to a sentence. But before we get on to that and further talk more about that, we'll go for a short break first, teacher. And we'll be right back here on Slot Tahap Dua. KPM. Hello everyone. Now let's come back to class. Today we are learning English and we're focusing on what's your opinion. So in this class, we are learning how to express our opinion through disagreement and also agreement. Now that you've learned how to disagree and how to agree, we will focus on doing some activity. And to launch that activity, let's have teacher Anjana launch it. Teacher, what will we be doing in this segment? This time, we are going to do this. Let's complete the map. Wow. Okay. Okay. Before completing the map, mm -mm. I want y'all to guess the meaning from the context. These words, eatery, mm -hmm. snack, obesity, diet, purchase, media. Remember these words? Right. Remember the blog forum that we have read earlier? Mm -hmm. The words in blue. I want you to guess the meaning of these words. To get it started, mm -hmm. let me ask you first. <gasps> oh, okay. I'm warming up the stage. All right, teacher. What is the meaning of eatery? Eatery. What well, do you think it is, Pika? Um, it's a place where we eat like restaurants or coffee shop. Is it correct, teacher? Excellent. So ah. you deserve a reward. <gasps> wow. Well, well done. done. Thank you, teacher. Right. Let's go to the next word. Snack. What is the meaning of snack? Hmm. Who wants to guess? Can I have some volunteers? And the pupils there watching, you guess the meaning too. Ah. Yes, Lara. What is the meaning of snack? I think snack is a small amount of food eaten between meals such as nuts and fruits. Excellent, Lara. Lara mm. says snacks are small meals eaten, bigger meals, which is like fruits, uh, nuts and so on. Interesting. Okay. All okay, right. let's look at the next word. Obesity. Who mm. wants to guess the meaning of obesity? Obesity. Who would like to try it? Okay, Alex. Yes, Alex. What 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 is the meaning of obesity? I think obesity is referred as being overweight. Is ah. being overweight. Mm -mm. Well done. Wow. Okay. okay. And the next word there is diet. Mm -hmm. What does diet mean? Diet. Diet. Who's Would going like to next? Give it a go. 
Okay, Aiden. Yes, Aiden. I think it can be referred as the eating habit of a person. Excellent, Aiden. Eating habits of a person. Mm -mm. Let's look at the next word. Purchase. Mm. Choose to purchase salad, which is healthy. What purchase mean? Okay, who would like to explain what it means? Who's going next? Yes, Jemima. Purchase means buy. Oh. Very good, Jemima. And we have one last word there. Media. What does media mean? Who wants to give it a go? Mm, this is a bit out of the food category, right? Yes. Who would like to try? So I can see Lara mm. there. Yes, Lara, give it a go. I think media is the TV, newspaper and social media. Wow. Well done, Lara. Good well done. Answer. It is a channel of communication like newspapers, mm. television and social media. Mm -hmm. Since we have seen the, the meaning of words, now we are going to complete a persuasion map on fast food. As you can see there, you need to give me the definition, the examples, the advantages, disadvantages and the conclusion. Mm -hmm. Are you all ready to complete this persuasion map? Yes, I am. Okay, let's get started. Mm -hmm. Perhaps, who's going to do the definition of fast, fast food? Okay, who wants to... Do you want to give it a try? Ah, okay, me. Well, I'll set the benchmark here. Um, the definition of fast food, it's something that we can have instantly and can be delivered really fast. Huh. All right, let's check if Pika's answer is correct. Mm -mm. Food which is prepared and delivered in the quickest way. Mm. Excellent, Pika. So the definition of fast food is which is prepared and delivered in the quickest way. Mm -hmm. Now, I need the examples of fast food. Mm. Any volunteers to give me the examples of fast food? Perhaps those you have eaten recently? <laughs> Ah, okay. Yes, Alex. Mm -hmm. French fries, homemade sandwiches, grilled burgers and pizzas. Wow. Excellent, Alex. So, I believe that Alex's favourite food is homemade sandwiches. Mm -hmm. Is it, Alex? Yes. <laughs> yes, okay. it is because he mentioned that. Uh -huh. Let's look at the examples. Pizzas, mm -hmm. tacos, salad, burgers, as well as Alex answers. They are correct. Mm -hmm. Well done, Alex. Well wow, done. Wow, good job. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the advantages. What are the advantages of fast food? Who's going next? All right, advantages. We have Jemima. Jemima. Yes, Jemima. Give me one advantage of fast food. Yeah, the advantage is it is fast. It is fast. Mm -hmm. It is fast. Yes, it's very clear. It's fast, huh? Yes. Okay, <laughs> can I have another advantage of fast food? Mm -hmm. And another advantage of fast food? Maybe we can yes. have... Yes, Aiden. I get to eat fast food at any time of the day. Excellent, wow. Aiden. Let's check the answers. Fast and always available for a busy lifestyle. Mm -mm. Many healthy options like salad and tacos. Oh, that means not necessarily is it not too healthy, but salad and tacos are also fast food. Yeah, you get it in a fast mode. Ah, right. Okay. Okay, mm. now let's look at the disadvantages of fast food. Mm -mm. Uh, can I have a pupil to tell me the disadvantage of fast food? Yes, one disadvantage. Who would like to try? Lara! Lara! The disadvantages are that fast food has a lot of sugar, salt and fat. Oh, it has a lot of sugar, salt and fat. Mm. And can I have one more disadvantage of eating fast food? Can I have... Oh, yes, Alex. 
the disadvantage of eating fast food will make us overeat and feel sick. Oh, overeat and you overeat. feel sick. Let's check the answers. Mm -mm. High in sugar, mm -hmm. salt and fat can suffer from obesity and diabetes. It makes ah. you sick. Mm, I yes. think uh, they have done a good job. Uh -huh. Remember the reward? Yes, we so do So I think have you them. give the bravo and I give a well done. Bravo! If you could hear the applause, it's there. <laughs> yes, it is. Good job, everybody. And lastly, conclusion. Mm -hmm. Can anyone give me a conclusion? We have seen the definition, the example, the advantages and the disadvantages. So, what mm -hmm. do you think the conclusion is? So, is, is fast food a healthy choice or mm -hmm. it's not an healthy choice? Mm. Now, this is where they could use their um, uh, agreement or disagreement sentence, right? Yes. Mm -mm. So Who would like to try this? Who's going to give me the conclusion? We can have two pupils to give us the conclusion. All right, who's going first? Ah, Lara. Yes, Lara. We need to make good choices of fast food to be healthy. We need to make good choices to be healthy. She strongly believes that we need to make good choices. Mm -mm. And can I have one more pupil to give me the conclusion? All right. Maybe Aiden? Oh, yes, Aiden. In my opinion, eating fast food is alright, but not as frequently. Excellent. Mm -mm. Eating fast food is alright, mm -hmm. but not frequently. Yes. Well done. Good try. Oh, shall I say bravo? Bravo, bravo. Wow. All right, now that we've had the conclusion from two of our pupils, perhaps we want to hear from our teacher herself. What's the conclusion for today's class, teacher? Yes, today we have learned about the advantages and disadvantages of eating fast food. Mm -hmm. So, is eating fast food a good choice? And we have learned uh, many expressions of uh, agreement and disagreement. Right. No way. Mm. I totally agree. I disagree. I'm not sure on that. These are the, the expressions that we have learned. Right. I believe so as well. And I agree we had a fun lesson today, teacher. It was. Now, before we end our class, how did the pupils do today? I think they did very well. <gasps> very well. Bravo again. And Perhaps well a, a, a clap for yourselves. huh? You did a great job today, everyone. <laughs> All right. Okay. Now, teacher, for those of you watching, they want to access materials to do online revisions, they want to do more, they want to be better, where can they go to? They can refer to the Delima portal for extra enrichment tasks. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. And there you have it, Palanta Delima KPM as shown on our screen right now. Now, everyone, thank you for watching and thank you, teacher, for being with us and sharing your knowledge. And thank you, people online you guys are very outspoken today good job and not to forget our sign language interpreter teacher Kathy thank you everyone for watching till we meet again assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera bye everyone bye hi I'm Dushan Sengkilelu today I'm going to share with you some information on fast food I strongly believe that fast food is popular these days Many love fast food because it is quite convenient to buy, many varieties to choose from, and the packaging is very attractive. I also agree that it tastes yummy and takes lesser time to prepare. Unfortunately, most of the fast food contains unhealthy ingredients like fat, salt, and sugar that can lead to serious health issues. After realizing the impact of fast food to my body system, I am no way going to be addicted to it. Thank you! Hello, my name is Adam bin Azizul Rahman and I am from SK Puchong Utama 2. Fast food are fried chicken, burger, french fries and soft drinks. Nowadays, everyone is living in a busy lifestyle and doesn't have enough time to prepare and cook a proper and nutritious meal. So, one of the solutions is getting fast food for themselves or for the whole family. I agree, this is one of the advantages. However, 
most of the fast food are not good for our body because they don't have enough nutrition. That's so true, it's indeed very bad. Some of the fast food are even expensive. I totally disagree to spend such amount on a low quality food. With that said, let's eat healthier and balanced food. Thank you.